Hello and welcome to the project Fast Food Web Application with Django and JavaScript. In this video, we will see Django template. You can write HTML code inside HTTP response. I will use the element h1 to change my text. When I reload the page, we see that the text now is bigger. I will add another element, h2, to confirm that we can write HTML code in HTTP response. I can also write a CSS code inside the, the element. For example, the, I will change the color of the element H2. This is not a clean code. For that reason, we use template in Django. Templates are dynamic HTML files. Instead of writing HTML code inside HTTP response, we will write it in HTML files. We use the function render that took six arguments. Two are required. The first argument is request and the second is uh, the template name or uh, the name of the HTML file. The function render transform the HTML code into HTTP response. Food slash index.html is the location of the file index.html or the path. Inside the food folder, I, I will create a new folder template. Inside the template folder, I will create a new folder food where I will put all HTML files. Now we will create our first template index.html. I will change the title. I will add an element h1 with the text welcome to margin food. I will run the server to test my template. I get the message, welcome to Majin Food. The templates in Django are dynamic. We can write variables inside HTML code. We use dictionary for variables. I will create a variable name. Its value is margin food. I will add the dictionary to the function render. The HTML file I will raise margin food and I will write the name of my variable. We have to write the variable between four braces. So Django, now it's a variable and not a HTML. I will create a new variable to show you that we can use many variables. The HTML file, I will use the element h2 for my variable message. If I remove the spaces, nothing happens, but it's a convention to add spaces. If I remove the brace, Django didn't interpret the message as a variable. Now it's time to create a navbar for our web application. I will use Bootstrap 4 to save time. From the website w3schools.com, 
I will copy all the CDNs that I need for the bootstrap. From the same website, I will copy the code of the navbar. I pass the code into the HTML file and I will change the name of links. I need a logo to my web application. From the website icon8.com I will copy the, the HTML code of uh, a hamburger image. I will pass it to my navbar. The logo is too big. I will try 32 pixels. It's small. I will try 48. It is not in the middle. I will add a margin bottom. I will try 40 pixels. Now it looks okay. I will add URL of uh, the view pizza to the navbar. This is the way how to write URLs in Django between two braces and two percentage symbols. We write URL space code food two dots pizza food is the namespace of the application and pizza is the name of the url i will check if the url works it works i will add s to the name of the url pizza I get the error that pizza is not a valid pattern name. In the HTML file, I will add S to pizza. How the URL works. I did that to show you what's the name of URL for. Next, we will create a template for pizza. I will write the text pizza is tasty just to check if the template works. We need a navbar for pizza. We will not write the navbar code for every template. We will use inheritance. So we will create a new file base HTML where we will write all the reusable code. I will cut the code from index.html and I will paste it to base.html. Inside the base.html, we will define blocks that child templates can override. 
first block for title we write block title between two braces and two percentage symbols and we write and block in the same way After the nav bar, we will create a div for the content and we add a block for content inside it. In the index template, we add the tag extends and the location of the base template. I will reload the page to see if uh, it works. I will do the same for uh, the template of pizza. Now we see that uh, the pizza have uh, a navbar and we don't need to write the navbar for every template. In the base HTML, I will add the URL of the home page. This time, I write only the name of the URL because I write the path of the URL index in the file URL of the project, Magin Food. I will check if the URL works. Now I will use the block title to change the title of the home page and the, the pizza view. can see in the browser that the title change when I toggle between home and pizza URLs. Now I will add a fav icon. Next step, we will create a static folder for CSS and JavaScript files. Inside the folder food, we will create a new folder static. Inside static, we will create a new folder food. Inside the folder food, we will create two folders, CSS and GS. Now I will create two CSS files, style.css. I will delete the margin bottom from the element image. I will add a class logo. To use the static file, we have to add the tag load static. Now we will add a link to our CSS file style. For the link, we use the same syntax as the URLs, but this time we will write static instead of URL and the location of the static file instead of the name of the URL. In the CSS file, 
we will set the margin of the class logo 10 pixels we will reload the page to check if it works it didn't work because I have to reload the server now it works we can see that the margin was added next step we will link the GS file in the pizza template Inside the block contents, I will create a div with id test. But first, I will create an element h1 to test if my template doesn't have errors. Okay, there is syntax error in on line 10. I write B on capital letters, so I will change it. There is another error. I forget to register or load this tag. I forget the percentage symbol. Now the template works. In the base file, I will add a link to our uh, GS file. Inside GS folder, I will create a new file main.js. I will use query selector to add text to element with id test. The text will be imagine food. Great, I get the text imagine food. For the home page, I will let you to design it on your own way. Use block content to write your HTML code. You can use Bootstrap or CSS for the style, and you can add some animation with JavaScript. You can add this project to your portfolio. For that reason, it's important to have your own touch on the style of the home page. The next video will be about models and database. Until the next time, take care.